before I head upstairs, I want to let you guys know that drinking water is such an integral part of my morning routine. I try and drink at least three of these by noon. They're about 24 ounces each, and I aim to have 120 ounces of water a day. Water, make sure you're hydrating. If you're watching this right now, go grab water. What is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Carter and I post post around content and I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below. Today I'm filming my 5 a.m. morning routine for my 9 to 5 job, which 9 to 5 I feel like is like a relative term. I don't actually work 9 to 5. I typically work um, 7 to 3 or 7.30 to 3.30. So I'm taking you guys along on my morning routine today and I'm so excited. So it's currently 5.35 and it takes me a little bit up to get out of bed, honestly. But once I'm up, I chug some water that you guys saw and the first thing I try and do is go for a walk. It's been closed and stuff with COVID still. I used to be a morning workout person. I lift early in the morning with my best friend. But now I just like to get a walk in and listen to a podcast. It starts me off in the right mind space. Um, COVID brought out a lot of working on a COVID floor brought out a lot of anxiety and uncertainty and just a lot of struggles. Um, so one thing that kept me routine was going for a walk every morning and listening to a podcast. So I'm still keeping that up now. And I typically like to work out from home a little bit later in the day, but going for a walk really wakes me up, gets my steps in. And yeah, is anyone else super obsessed with closing their loops on their Apple Watch or is it just me? Cause going for a nice long walk early in the morning ensures that I can do that. So I'm gonna head out for a nice little morning walk. We are so lucky where we live that we have uh, so many nice little paths so we're gonna head out on our morning walk and then we'll come back and have coffee I've been trying to not have coffee as soon as I wake up in the morning and to just like let myself wake up a little bit and it's been helping a lot so let's go for a nice morning walk and find a podcast to listen to All right, morning walk is done. Let's go make some coffee. Hey guys, it's currently 6.05. I'm just going for my walk. It really depends on the day how far I go. Some days I walk three kilometers, some days I walk two. So today I only walked one. It's more or less just depending on how much time I have and how much stuff I have to do that day. Um, so yeah, it's not really the length of time that matters or like how far I walk. It's just to wake up, honestly. Nothing wakes me up like fresh air does. But anyways, the best part of the walk is obviously walking back because I know as soon as I get home, then I can have coffee. This part of my day is which coffee mug I'm gonna pick. But I'm missing Disney today, so I think I'm gonna do Magic Kingdom. Typically, I do drink my coffee black, especially if it's iced coffee. I just really like black coffee. Um, don't come at me. I don't know. I like my coffee to taste like coffee. But some mornings, I do treat myself and put some almond milk in it. it Typically, like to have my morning coffee outside and sit at the balcony and just like listen to everything happen. Cars go by. I don't know. I find it very calming. And then, since it's so loud outside, I have to show you guys inside. But I usually sit at the little coffee table here and just kind of like go over my plans for the day, make a to-do list, and do my gratitude journal. But it's a little chilly, so I'm gonna go put a sweater on first. I typically try and have some kind of quiet time before work and it changes day to day but the one thing is I stay off my phone I do not go on my phone until about like 8 or 9 maybe even later I really try I really really try and stay off my phone in the morning just to have like complete 
quiet time and to just not wake up feeling anxious or stressed and sometimes i will post a story but i try and not scroll through social media until later in the day it just helps clear my head so much and it's been so good for me so i'm probably going to go outside and read i'm just finishing up a book right now called the night olivia fell it's really good if you're into thrillers you'd really like it um i really love thrillers so I typically will either read or catch up on like YouTube emails or edit a video or respond to comments, something like that in the morning. That's like considered my quiet time. But this morning I'm gonna finish my book because I'm at 87%. And then I'm gonna log on to my computer and start my work day. I'm working from home today, so it's really, really nice. Um, but typically I honestly would just put on like mascara and head to work. It's nothing fancy. Um, but I'm gonna finish reading my book and then we'll start work. love to do some kind of like quick yoga or stretching in the morning before I head to work just because I'm gonna be sitting in this lovely chair all day long so I'm gonna do that super quick before starting my work day Guys, I am obviously at my desk now at 6.52 and I typically um, start checking my emails and stuff around 7. So I got my to-do list in front of me. I always keep that handy. Got my water. I already want my second coffee, but I try not to have it until after my morning meeting at 8. So that's that. And then we put on either some music or a podcast. Just kind of depends what day it is. Tuesdays, there's not really any good podcasts that go up. So I'll typically just listen to um, some lo-fi music while I work and I will start checking my email. Hi guys, okay, and as for my work from home outfit, I'm definitely not one of those girls who thinks that they need to wear cute clothes to be productive from home. I'm actually very productive in my sweatpants, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm just wearing an oversized airy shirt with some like black PJ pants from Marshalls. But yeah, I definitely, um, definitely not one of the gals that needs to wear nice clothes to feel productive from home. I honestly feel quite productive in my sweatpants, so that's my little workout for the day. I've decided I'm gonna take a quick, quick shower. And I really want a third coffee, is that bad? It definitely is bad and I can't have a third coffee but I want one so badly. Hey guys, it is currently 11. I'm taking a little break from work to make some breakfast because I'm literally starving. Also, my hair is wet and I look like a drowned rat and I'm very sorry, but I'm gonna have my typical omelet that I have literally every day. I'm gonna show you guys what I put in it. So I just made my omelet. It's just one egg, two egg whites, and then um, onion, light cheddar, bacon, and salami. So that's my little breakfast. <sighs> Let's Hi guys, it is currently about noon. I just finished eating breakfast. I'm on a little lunch break from work and I wanted to jump on here quick and just thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my morning routine and let me know down below if you guys wanna see my morning routine when we get a puppy and how it changes because I think that would be such an interesting vlog to film. I can't wait till we get Stella so I can incorporate her into so many different videos. So let me know down below if you guys wanna see that. I just wanted to come on here and also say that just because this is what I do in my morning routine does not mean that you have to do this in your morning routine to be healthy and productive. Everyone's definition of healthy and productive is totally, totally different and don't think that you have to do what I do in my morning routine to feel healthy and productive. Um, yeah, so I'm going to keep working this afternoon. If you guys are interested in seeing kind of more of my work life, make sure you subscribe down below because I post work week in my life videos all the time and I would love it if you guys joined our little family. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy and subscribe down below if you're not already to join our little family and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye!